so it begins. Are you ready? begins. hear me very well, please just indicate that you can hear me loud and clear. Yeah, good evening everyone. Lovely afternoon, evening, wherever you are. We have people from outside Nigeria also. Today's topic, today happens to be the last day. We hope that in January we'll do some other lectures also. But today is the final lecture and we are glad that we are happy for the turnover even though it was declining. But for those that have not, um, that did not attend the first day, second day, third day, and fourth day, please, it is on our Instagram page. Make sure you go there and watch every single video. This is the best, one of the best lectures you can ever have in your history on Earth. If you equip yourselves with this information, you enter into 2021 loaded. So please, it will not take you or cost you much. Go and watch those videos on our Instagram handle. Today's video will also be posted later on. So thanks once again. Today we are talking about how to end poverty in Nigeria with the power of the people. Plus Inks Ledger Blockchain. Um, X Ledger blockchain, as we all know, for those that do not know, X Ledger blockchain is blockchain for human and non human asset tokenization. Human and non human asset tokenization. We are using the blockchain to tokenize human assets or human presence on the blockchain. And the aim is to give back value. Instead of us to have a system whereby all value is given to inanimate things, iPhone 12, um, car, gold, and so on. When you look at the price of iPhone 12, you find out that I have a scenario whereby a woman is carrying her baby in the hand, in one hand, and holding iPhone 12 and she was about falling down. She slipped and was about falling down. She forgot herself. Instead of trying to save the baby, she was trying to save her phone from falling. So she left the baby and was pursuing the phone while she was falling. That is the, the, the value system that we have unconsciously built in ourselves. We have built a value system that values things that cannot talk, inanimate things, because of the prizes attached to them. We value them more than human beings. 
So Inks Ledger blockchain is coming. Thank God for blockchain. Gives us an opportunity to correct any error of the past. So we are correcting the system by shifting focus from valuing inanimate things to valuing the valuer. Paper money has one error. One of the errors is that it does not value the valuer. We need a system whereby anything that is valued must have given value back to the human race. Is it that before or immediately after it is given value? For example, you when you go when you go to buy a phone, if the owner of iPhone If the owner of iPhone or the makers of iPhone 12, after making everything and nobody buys it, it becomes useless. So human beings are the valuers. If I come out and say, oh, I built this and it cost one million, if nobody buys it, it becomes useless. Even if I say it is one naira, if nobody buys it, it becomes useless. So human beings are the valuers. Now, the system has gotten so corrupt that we don't even value human life. We kill, we steal, we do a lot of things against humanity because of these inanimate things. So in order to solve the problem from the root, we are going back to the drawing board. We went back to the drawing board with the grace given through blockchain to rewrite and modify the system in a way that it will value only the people, or the people first, humanity first, humanity above every other thing. So that is what Inks Ledger is all about, human asset tokenization, blockchain for human and non-human asset tokenization. Then we have the talk about Nigeria and poverty. Nigeria is the headquarters of poverty currently. We took that, at least in record, we took that unpleasant trophy from India, I think two or three years ago, which is, we are still maintaining that trophy, that spoiled, unpleasant trophy. And it is also good that the solution is coming out from the, the headquarters of poverty. The solution to poverty is coming out from the headquarters of poverty, but might not retain, remain in the headquarters because it doesn't seem to be valued in its headquarters, in the headquarters of poverty. So what we understand with poverty is that poverty is the result of many, many uh, years of so many, many combined errors. And the current system that has lasted for close to 100 years and so on has breeded more poverty in the land because it favors the select few while the rest of the world is impoverished. So now, the power of the people. The masses, the youths, they actually do not understand the power they have as it relates to a blockchain like ours. If your government is good, then the blockchain will, em they will embrace the blockchain and the blockchain will work to their favor to benefit them. But if the government is bad, the people can follow the blockchain, follow the tokenization, get tokenized and they become they go through the, the period of holding or waiting for every other person to be tokenized and <clears throat> they become free from poverty you know So that is the topic for the day. Now, let us rephrase 
some of the things we talked about in other meetings. We said the problem is there are two major problems. Number one problem or two in one problem. Artificial intelligence is going to take away lots of jobs, joblessness, unemployment rate is going to increase and it will affect African nations the most, thereby skyrocketing the level of poverty. Poverty is the main problem. And COVID-19 is making this happen faster. So we, we have a problem which is poverty, born out of lack. Some don't have jobs. It's the result of their poverty and so many other reasons. <coughs> then artificial intelligence is telling us that it is going to also do more, add more to the number of poor people in the world. And we have been able to cryptographically work out a solution. So the solution or the best way to end poverty in the world is to provide a form of universal basic income. Universal basic income is similar to what the US is talking about recently about stimulus check or stimulus package. In Nigeria, we might call it even COVID-19 relief fund. Um, survivor fund, whichever one, they are all more like universal basic income. This means that whether you work, you don't work, you have a basic checking. So universal basic income is best at Inks Nation DAO, we believe that universal basic income is best through human asset tokenization built on the blockchain, which will be self-reliant on each individual's existence. You don't need to depend on anybody or expect anything from the government or any other person. It is individually. Your tokenization is what is going to be split into several months. So there's no special sponsor or even if they come in, they might just come in as um, ink snow bearers and all that. <coughs> so, if you've not joined Inks Nation, you need to do that ASAP. There are three ways to end poverty in Nigeria. Now, this applies to every country. We are using Nigeria as an example. The three ways is through the government, through the central bank, and through the power of the people. Number one, through the government. The government can use Bitcoin to pay salaries of workers, reducing the burden on the government's pockets with a minimum basic income of 200k worth of pin coin monthly. So worker salary can be programmed on the Inks Ledger or pin coin wallet, meaning they need to accept or partner or welcome the idea and they will not need to be bringing out money from their pockets ever again for life. <coughs> the government will not need to bring up money from their pockets again with legalization or approving or using Bitcoin as salary for civil servants, both federal and state and local governments everybody's salary will be programmed automatically. That will aid and remove a lot of burden from the government. 
Number two is the government can run survival funds or COVID-19 relief funds for citizens that are not working as to give to them as universal basic income monthly. And this will be, this will aid or remove tendency of Nigerians or people going into crime. People will value their lives and they will value the lives of others. Crime will reduce drastically. Insecurity will reduce drastically. <clears throat> Imagine announcing on a national scale that every single Nigerian is entitled to 50,000, 100,000 monthly for, uh, from the Inks Ledger blockchain powered by the government of Nigeria and it is going to happen for as long as possible. You will see Nigerians will comport themselves, people will start behaving themselves, crime rate will reduce. The crime rate of Nigeria is, is directly proportional to the level of poverty we have in the country. So we need to, in order to reduce crime and insecurity, we need to reduce the level of poverty in the country. So number three, the government can tokenize all our citizens on the Inks Ledger blockchain and benefit from the total tokenization. The government can, with the central bank, can have like a storage or treasury, crypto treasury of reserve of minimum of 700 million worth of Bitcoin. Now, through the central banks, number one, central bank can run our inks node to aid the prior mentioned processes of the government's involvement. Central banks can also create their um, distributed reserve central bank digital currency on the Inks Ledger blockchain where they control like moving the Naira into a blockchain Naira. Moving the Naira into a blockchain Naira. <coughs> Number three, central banks will become one of the U, the central bank of Nigeria will become the one of, or the government will become or Nigeria will become one of the U14 and become even the headquarters. Who are the decision main decision makers of the new system? Then the power of through the power of the people. How do you end poverty through the power of the people? In a case like I said earlier on, if your government is not reasonable, they don't understand or they don't like people coming out of poverty, then the people can decide by themselves. Why do we want to come out of poverty? If yes, then number one, the people can do it on their own by understanding the value they have on the Inks Ledger blockchain. Do you know your what? If you are asked that we only know those that are rich, that okay, this person is what the widow is what thirty billion or whatever, Dangode is what eleven billion. 11.9 billion dollars um, and so on and so forth. So, but what is the average of basic worth of a human being or net worth, average net worth or basic net worth of a human being? On our blockchain, everybody is worth a minimum value of eight hundred thousand dollars. So that is number one. You have to know your what first of all that yes there is one place called Inc Nation that you are valued at so 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 amount eight hundred thousand dollars. Then number two is the best way for the people to end poverty in a country is if every single citizen 
patiently work together to make sure that everybody is tokenized. Everybody is tokenized on the blockchain. So with that, the most important part of it is just everybody being tokenized because with the tokenization, when I start receiving my universal basic income, I can easily trade with you or exchange with you. We are not interested in exchanging one currency for another. Rather, we are interested in exchanging one currency for goods and services. Exchanging our currency for goods and services. Then if you must withdraw once in a while, you have your card and all that, which we are also working on presently. Number three, with collective mass agreement, people can run these notes by themselves and decide on who will be the Lord of the Reserve. The Lord of the Reserve. So one way currently Nigeria has qualified to whether the government is involved or not, the people have decided through their involvement that they want to um, hold or they qualify to become like shareholders of the global reserve. And currently, that is 1.8% of the reserve, which is still unclaimed. And our reserve currently has close to 6 trillion in the reserve, all the tokenizations put together. So this is the basic way that the people need to understand and work together we have to base two major platforms or two major things to end poverty. The Inx Ledger blockchain is a philanthropic blockchain that is blockchain for human and non-human asset tokenization. Then we have the masses. Mass tokenization is the solution to poverty eradication in Nigeria. So because currently we've not attained that height of complete mass tokenization, we still have that little drawback. So, but when that time comes, mass tokenization, the people need to wake up, the people need to hate poverty, the people need to decide that, yes, we want to come out of poverty. And like I said, if you have quotes with the Nigeria that we know today, you were born into Nigeria, and you have stayed in the same Nigeria for this long, and you didn't die, then you can bear any holding period or waiting period or, pa or patiently wait for this process to work out. So we've been able to achieve a lot so far, but the main aim of this project is not cash out. It is going cashless, using your funds for the um, transa normal transaction of, I want to buy rice, I want to buy beans, I want to buy car, I want to buy this. With that, you are already in line with the process that we are using or we wish to use to end poverty in the nation. So this is the main area that needs more focus on mass tokenization. Everybody in the Nigeria get tokenized. So we are almost at the end of today's lecture. So I want to rephrase on Pincoin. Pincoin is the world's first distributed reserve cryptocurrency. Reserve cryptocurrencies are, co are currencies that <coughs> actually serve as background currency or base currency. A currency that you have to pass through in order to deal with another country. 
So, if Nigeria wants to do business with Japan, you'll find out that most of the prices will still be in dollars instead of yen, because that is the reserve currency of the world. So, but in our own case, even if Japan wants to put their price in their own currency, since the base currency is pin coin, it is easier for me to pay in their currency, honoring their currency. All I need to do from here is to automatically show it the amount in Naira that I pay, it goes through pin coin and into yen or Japan's own um, reserve um, ink note. So it goes through there and voila, transactions are completed in lightning speed in seconds. We don't use proof of work, we use proof of AI. So AI automatically confirms transaction and it's there. So that is reserve cryptocurrency and it is distributed because each country will run their own ink node. If they desire to operate to central bank digital currency, it's up to them. But with the ink node, each country can run their their banking platform underneath and there's seamless transactions. And Pincoin uses instead of normal supply and demand, or rather, instead of using indirect participation of human, indirect human involvement, we are using direct human involvement. So the indirect human involvement is through supply and demand, uh, because that is what supply and demand is, human participation. Whether it's, it's the, the money that is being put into it or whatever, it is human participation. So instead of us to use it indirectly, we are using it directly so that we don't cloud the benefit that is meant to go to the human himself. So human involvement is broken into indirect and direct. The indirect is what we have as supply and demand and uh, pump and dump. But here we are doing it directly through bed rates and dead rates. Human existence versus human exit. So it is still more like supply and demand but in a different dimension or in a different form. And this helps to sustain Bitcoin as a very good store of value. Whatever you keep, if you keep 10 million, it still remains 10 million there. It has a store of value as that. So it also serves as a payment token. Easily any country can integrate their currency into it and voila, you can use it to buy the follow up, the same normal process of using your Naira. Every country's currency is represented in it because Bitcoin is just a base currency. And it also has weak currency bailout strategies. For every 18 million living notes, the currencies that are on it will be broken into two or will be upgraded one step upwards. If one dollar is equal to 500 naira, it will become one is to 250 in that light. So, so with that, we can call pin coin the democracy of money, money of the people, money backed by the people, and money for the people. So this is a collective, combined, powerful, and humanitarian project that is to favor and help every single soul. When you see that beggar on the streets, he is worth $800,000 on our blockchain. 
he's there right now, but he does not know that there is a place where he is worth eight hundred thousand dollars just for being a human being. The fact that the person is not a goat, or is not a cow, or is not a cat, or a lion of self, or an elephant, so long as that person is a human being and is alive, is worth eight hundred thousand dollars. And this is the kind of system that we need to sustain the human race. So, Bitcoin is backed by human assets. Human asset tokenization. Our coin is called Bitcoin. Blockchain is since Ledger Blockchain. Total supply is 144 million. Our consensus algorithm is a combination of proof of love for humanity plus proof of artificial intelligence. Then our hashing algorithm is SHA-256. Thank you for the lecture. Remember, in order to save humanity, in order to bring humanity out of poverty, all we need countrywide, continent-wide, worldwide, is mass human asset tokenization. If it is a country, 50, 60, 80% of the population should be tokenized swiftly. If it is a continent, majority of everybody in that continent should be tokenized. If it is a, if it is the whole world, then we call it global human asset tokenization. Get tokenized today. Now lie, now lie. One thousand naira that you are going to pay to that exchange, and you are not paying it to us. All we are desirous of is you being tokenized. That's where we get the joy. So that 1,000 that you spare and pay to the exchanger or the agents should not be bigger than you. Don't get too um, wise in your eyes. We need a world whereby poverty is the least thing we talk about. Lack is out of our system. Thank you for the lecture. Thank you for attending today's lecture today being the final day we would love to entertain lots of questions so please ask your questions and let's go thank you So we have come to the close of today's lecture. Happy New Year in advance. Any question? You can log in, contact customer service. What is DRCB? Distributed Reserve Cashless Banking. Distributed Reserve Cashless Banking.
Every single update would come up with every single update will come up with next year. For those that are asking about microfinance, the process alone takes less than uh, more than three months. So be patient. It's not my own process, it's the Nigerian process. Someone asked a very wonderful question. So what's the basis of having only 144 million coins? Now, it is a wonderful question because, let me explain it this way. The current system springs money out of nowhere. But here, we have 144 million of our coins. Then the current system focuses on printing more, printing more, printing more money into the system. But we just have 144 once and for all. If there is need to mine more, if that one is in the nearest future, maybe, maybe not. But most likely there they is actually no need because the error of the current system that makes the system to be printing more and printing more, instead of printing and printing, all we need to do is increase, make sure the value of each of these coins is increasing. Because if one of these coins is worth one dollar, you have one forty four million dollars. If you create a system that makes price to continually go increase, if the coin if one of the coin becomes two dollars, this is one forty four million times two. So if the coin, one coin becomes ten dollars it becomes 1.4 billion. If the coin becomes, if one becomes, one coin becomes $100, it becomes 14 billion. If one of the coin becomes $1,000, it becomes 144 billion. So instead of focusing on minting or mining or printing more coins, we need to focus on a strategy that makes price continually increase. That is why we choose debt rate versus debt rate instead of the normal supply and demand or pump and dump. The pump and dump still favors only the rich. So the rich can control, manipulate the system, but with debt rate and debt rate, whether you are rich, whether you are poor, price is determined equally. Each person adds $800,000 to the blockchain. Price moves one step upwards for every 180 persons that joins. So equal representation on the blockchain. No magomago, no cheating. So I've answered that question. 144 million coins is the only number of coins that will ever be minted or created. Thank you. If you need the videos of all the lectures, they are there. Check the last five videos of the on our Instagram page. They are all there. We saved all the videos there. So you can always go back there to learn.
all inks market is going to be online so you just need to be patient till we are done no matter how long it takes us it's not about doing it once and stopping it's for us to have it going forever and ever The good part about death rate and death rate is that you cannot even start recording death rates for now because you have not, we have not collated the total number of people that are alive yet. We need to get to that level of global human asset tokenization. So the only way death rates can start applying is, is either one, when a country embraces the system we can apply bed rates to it. It will work based on the proof, the extended part of proof of artificial intelligence. There are some artificial intelligence mechanisms that are attached to it that will be able to determine because your your wallet address would represent you in the bank, in the hospital, everywhere you go. So if Nigeria embraces it, the wallet address, the, your universal wallet address UWA, would be like your, your password or your passport or your, to be on your passport, it would be on your, um, to be like your name, your PVN, but this one would be more on the identity side and crypto, your banking side also, in sense that if you go to the bank, you will just need that wallet address, either through the barcode or whichever way. If you go to the hospital, that is all they need to get all your information. If whatever you go to, that is your identity also. So with that, when you are sick, in that ecosystem, people will value lives. Immediately you are sick, straight to hospital. So the hospital already records you that this person came to the hospital at social time, he at social time he died. So the system it means that everything will be interconnected. So the system will record that that we lost ten people today in the whole nation. We lost twenty people today and it knows what to do. Thank you. Hmm. The benefit of becoming a merchant on a national scale is that one, if done properly, we have instructed all merchant, all um, state schools down to local government to register merchants uh, for free. But you must have a shop silver package for free you must have an office or a shop what do you sell which services do you render so with that you'll be able to make sure that every single person in your vicinity that sells a b c d is also registered for free now when they are registered the most important part of money is being able to exchange it within one another. So if I am a barber today as a merchant and you come to my place, I accept pink coin to bab my hair, to bab people's hair. I can go out tomorrow and the next person in my shop um, close to me accepts pink coin and is selling rice. 
the other person is selling beans. The other person is selling shoes just like that. And we already have an ecosystem that accepts it. And if you must withdraw, then there's also that part. Like we have said it that the ATM card will come soonest. That we'll be able to withdraw in coin or convert it to cash. Thank you. Um, USSD code will come also. It's part, it should have been available long before now, but we have suspended that due to some certain reasons best known to us. If you registered 180 living notes between October and November, contact your state ESCO. You must have also um, supported the inks market. If you did, if after making um, meeting of 180 and you did not support the inks market, then you are part of our problem. So I guess we are done with today's lecture. Nine o'clock we close for the day. As regards the project, this is the the beginning is the toughest period for the project. As time goes on, we'll get to a level whereby we'll be handing over a wonderful robust system full of abundance to our generation on board. Also remember that you should tokenize your children, every single human being born, as you are giving birth like this. Go and tokenize that child, register the child, and you'll be glad you did, because this would be the biggest, one of the biggest systems in the world that will solve the problems of humanity. So we have closed, uh, today marks the end of the five days training. If you want us to do another training in January, let us know. Just say yes or no. Should we do more trainings in January?
like revisit some of the topics again, expand more on it. So should we do more trainings? It's all right. Um, we'll do more trainings. We'll fix some other topics. How to prepare yourself for the next decade. Prepare yourself for 2021, for the next decade, and so on. So, good night, everyone. Thank you for coming for today's lecture. Always remember that Daddy Inc. loves you to the moon. Good night. If they not tell you, you not gonna know. You know, you know. You know. The right time to say no to poverty is now. Nigeria government is good. Let the light be for power, control the If they not tell you, you don't go know. You know, you know. You know. The right time to say no to poverty is now. Nigeria government is good. Let the light be for power, control us.